Hey, what's going on everyone? Today is May the 6th, 2022, and I'm going to talk about a video that Tom Nass has done regarding Twilio and why he felt back in November of 2020 that the price was going to go up. And I'm going to show you why I don't try to push fundamental analysis and how it does not benefit the average investor or trader and how it, it cannot give you a heads up as to what you need to do next. So to everyone who is relatively new to my channel, I do price predictions. I strictly focus in on the price and nothing else. So I am definitely a staunch advocate for those looking at price and price only. And I am definitely against anyone using fundamental analysis because you'll begin to see that it does not give you any heads up amongst the competition. Everyone else is in the stock market trying to do one thing and one thing only, and that is to make money. Now, however you all determine how you can make money out of the stock market, I have nothing against it. But from what I've seen, for what I've experienced, I've noticed that there's only one thing that everyone is worried about, and that is the price. You don't see people talking about the fundamentals of company only in relation to price. That's the only way that they try to justify the value of a company, right or wrong. I'm going to show you this video right here from Tom Nash. It was posted on November the 25th, 2020. And I took a small snippet out and we're going to talk about it and see, well, if your fundamental analysis at that particular time was justifying an 80% price increase, then how can you justify the price going down with your fundamental analysis? Or could your fundamental analysis actually give you a heads up and tell you that you might want to come in and switch sides and play the downside in the stock? Let's talk about it. So to those who are new, welcome to the channel. You guys appreciate my videos, my content. Go make sure you guys join on board. Hit the like button, share the video, and also subscribe to the channel. I am not here pumping stocks. I am not here giving you all any fear for the FOMO. Like I told you earlier, I pay attention to the price. So if you guys want to join me, if you guys want to learn more, you all know what you need to do. So now let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. OK, you guys can see the video is still posted on YouTube, right? So I'm just going to do a look back. I'm going to do a past performance review on this stock pick that Tom Nash was expecting to go up. Now, I know many of you are going to leave a comment and say hindsight is 2020. Yes, it is. That is why I do predictions. I predict forward, not backwards. So when we look at fundamental analysis, specifically fundamental analysis, could that not give you a heads up and tell you that you might want to let the play go? And instead of you looking for the stock going up 80 percent, how about it going down 80 percent? Could fundamental fundamental analysis give you that heads up that a stock is going to go down 80 percent? So we're going to look at it. So you guys can see. Great fundamentals. OK, a bright future now that was back in 2020 now i know many of you are going to leave a comment as well saying that you're a long-term investor okay five years 10 years 25 years i get it but this video was posted almost two years ago so we're almost two years into this prediction in this forecast that tom nas created so we got about three more years left for those looking to hold for five years to see where the price is going to be Let's talk. Let's go ahead and listen to the snippet real quick. And then we're going to break down and see the performance of this particular stock and try to determine could fundamental analysis giving us a heads up to say that maybe we need to come in and sell Twilio rather than buy it. Let's go ahead and go through it. Take a listen real quick. I really like to look at smart, proven people and see what they say about it. Now, check this out. That's a problem right there. You don't want to follow anybody else but your own thesis. Utilizing one person's opinion about what a stock is going to be worth is bad for the markets. You want the overall market to tell you what people value overall. That's what the stock market is. The stock market is a collective behavior of everybody, not just one person, about what a stock is worth. He already went into the small snippet that I've taken out his video to say that he likes to look at smart people and see what they think about a stock. Kind of to justify his position as to why Twilio is a buy. For me, I look at the market as a whole. I don't look at just one person to say, see, this individual said that the stock is going to go up 80, 100 percent. So I have some justice as to why I could have a basis to say the same thing. That's not how this game is played. 
you look at the whole market as a whole to tell you what price is going to do. This is Itay Kidron. Uh, he's an Oppenheimer analyst. He's ranked number seven out of 7,103 analysts. He's like the correlation minus one of Gordon Johnson. He has an average return of 38%, a success rate of 75%. This is the Tesla of a freaking analyst. This dude is a stud. So he goes in and gives you this analyst performance of his past stock picks, of his past stock recommendations. Okay, cool. And here's what this dude has to say about Twilio. He believes that the share has 82.3% more to give, which is quite close to my opinion. But beyond the fact, he actually gives you a share price target, which I haven't yet, $550. So this analyst that he's referencing has a price target of $550. Keep that in mind. It's now at 300. It's a good upside in my and Ita's opinion. So as you can see, this company passes my test with flying colors. You heard him. The company Twilio passes his tests of flying with flying colors. Okay. It has great management, great business model, very solid financials, good moral basis, and other smart people really like it. I believe this company has 80% to 100% of upside today. 80% to 100% upside today. Now, this video was posted on November 25th, 2020. Even though it's an expensive stock, I really believe in it. There you are. Even though it was an expensive stock, he still believes in it. Now, I want you all to see this in the caption, in the description of the video. All right. When I consider an investment, this is what he wrote in the description. When I consider an investment, all right, he looks at five factors. One, how solid is the business model? Okay. Two, how solid is the management? Three, how solid is the moral basis? Four, how solid are the financials and the fundamentals? Five, what other people are saying about it? He have given us five criteria, fundamental criteria as to what would make him buy a stock or recommend that it's going to go up five, five. So what if one of these five doesn't pan out? What if the management turns sour or negative? What if the moral basis change? What if the business model completely flips? What is the value of the company then? Given what he goes through on this video, right? Obviously, according to him, it meets these five criteria. Otherwise, he would not be given an 80 to 100% price target. He wouldn't do that. Now, Let's go ahead and look at the performance. It's been about two years. So hopefully this particular stock has reached 80 to 100%, right? Now, I know many of you say, well, we got three more years if I'm trying to hold the stock for five years. So it could come back up. Let's see. So this video was posted. I went ahead and did it. it was posted on November the 25th, which is right here, 2020. Now, the market in Twilio only had enough momentum you guys can see to go up 50 percent that was it 50 percent now if he was looking for the market to go up 80 percent right let's go ahead and draw it up there to 80 percent that's around 550 dollars that he was looking for the market in twilio to go 550 now he said 80 to 100 so that's 80% for the market in Twilio to go to 100% of where price was on November 25th. That's around $615 or $610. Wow. Now, many of you are going to say hindsight is 2020. Of course it is. And I wanted to show you from when he did this video to where price is now in Twilio. If you were to buy the stock on that day, November the 25th, your position is now down 60%. He was looking for the stock to go up 80 to 100%. It only had it only had enough steam to go up 50%. And now you're down 
okay now the thing that I'm really doing these videos for is to show you why I don't use fundamental analysis to those who do more power to you kudos I wish you all the best because could not fundamental analysis tell you to be prepared for this downturn like could your business model your five position your five criteria that you utilize tell you that price and Twilio was going to go down that that's the hard part about fundamental analysis is you went through all of this research all of these five criterias right to justify an 80 to 100 percent price increase so when the market goes against that when it starts to go down 60 percent then what justification can you give as to why the price went down fundamental fundamental analysis cannot give you that heads up it cannot provide you the idea because now he would have to go back literally and try to finagle manipulate try to come up with some type of information to justify why price in twilio is going down now because all that he said on this video all of these five criteria is literally now irrelevant because it required these five criteria to justify 80 to 100 percent uprun well it went 60 percent down instead so how are you going to, to manipulate the market now for twilio to say this is why price went down instead I want you all to begin to see that it does not benefit us to utilize fundamental analysis. And then you begin to see in the comment section of this video, let's go to the latest comment, right? Let's go to the newest one first. And you begin to see people ask him questions. Hey, Tom, can you make an update on Twilio? I've been thinking about buying it now. That was just a month ago. I've watched this video today after one year. Do you think? good opportunity to buy this now people are asking him now for an update but why or how can you provide an update when you see the stock crash 60 percent from what you originally intended it to do two years ago or a year and a half ago with all of this fundamental analysis that you input it to justify the 80 percent run up how can you justify 80 uh, 60 percent run down with your fundamental analysis right so now I'm just here to give you all the information as to why I don't push fundamental analysis I only push reading price charts that's the only thing that comes through and benefit us on those who are on the outside because price chart gives us a heads up right it gives us a heads up it tells us precisely what the majority of the market is doing not just one analyst i could care less about what one person thinks i want to see what does the collective mind thinks of every market participant that is involved everyone and the price chart is the only place where we get that arena of what everyone is trying to do in terms of money in terms of what they expect so now in order for you just to break even from when Tom Nas did the video, let's say you bought it on that day, the market in Twilio will now have to increase, right? 159%. 159%. The market will have to go up just to break even. That's not even making a profit. And that's only to say if the market in Twilio has actually hit bottom. Now, we are definitely in trends in a downturn, in a downturn, downtrend. And we may not be done we may not be done with Twilio going lower. If you wanted to see that 100% that he forecasts in his price prediction, the market in Twilio would have to go up around 420%. Can that happen in three years? I mean, anything's possible, but that's a long way away for us to see that particular market go that high. Now, you guys remember where I told you um, that you can actually predict what people are trying to do and I'm going to give you one situation right now that shows us that the majority of the market is not believing in Twilio going higher and you could tell that by the spikes in volume okay you could tell that by the spikes in volume now get rid of that on these particular days okay I want to zoom in on these volume bars because it relates to what the market is doing somebody on these trading days massively sold 
Tom Nass is looking for you to buy it and let price go up. Well, somebody else is thinking obvious, differently. Somebody with a lot of stock in Twilio sold their positions on these two days and it happens on earnings. You see that? This gives an opportunity to sell to the people like Tom Nass who's looking for the stock to go up 80 to 100 percent. This confirms that we're not in an uptrend. Somebody with a big pocket is saying, look, Twilio is not going to go up. So let me go ahead and offload my position to the market because I know that price is going to continue to trend lower. These are the indicators that give you the heads up that fundamental analysis cannot give you. This is how I know that Twilio is still weak. It's because on these massive volume bars, the result of the price action has continually been down. Right? If the market truly was buying on those high volume spike bars, we would have seen Twilio go up. But instead, you guys can see the price is trending down. Okay? So this is where I'm at. Okay, if you guys want the real, if you guys want a simplistic way of reducing research all you have to do is look at the price chart that's it and that is what i'm going to continue to push on my channel and it's a whole lot better than those individuals who is trying to get you all to look at five criteria to see whether or not a stock is going to go up and isn't it just a coincidence or is it just me when these people come out and do these stock recommendations and stock picks they only give you the analysis to show you stocks going up right these YouTubers don't ever give you a fundamental analysis approach to show you that stocks is going to go down. I wonder why. Just something for you all to ponder on. I, I'm done. Like I said, the doors are open. If you guys want to learn how to read price charts rather than going through an in-depth analysis, 18 minutes about why a stock is a buy and how it met your criteria of five ways to say that it's going to go up and clearly it doesn't work out now you still got three years or 10 years 15 years however long you want to keep your money locked up but understand the longer that you keep your money locked up the longer that you're missing out on other opportunities that that money could be at work for you just saying now i'm done make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different <laughs>